MRCS history station, urine retention history station, benign prostatic hyperplasia. Hello, I'm Dr. Ali, one of the surgical doctors working here. May I confirm your name and age, please? Hi, doctor. My name is Andrew. I'm 67 years old. Nice to meet you, Mr. Andrew. I want to ask you a few questions about your condition. Are you okay with that? Yes, doctor. I'm okay with answering your questions. How can I help you today, Mr. Andrew? I have a problem urinating, doctor. I'm sorry to hear you've been experiencing a wee problem. Let's start with some details about your symptoms. Did this problem start suddenly or gradually? It started gradually a few months ago and it's been bothering me ever since. I see. Can you recall when you first noticed this difficulty and how severe it has been? I first noticed it a few months back and it has been quite bothersome. Sometimes it gets worse and other times it eases up a bit. Thank you for sharing that information. Now let's explore any factor that may worsen or relieve your urination issues. I've noticed drinking plenty of water can sometimes make it easier for me to pass urine. However, holding in my urine for too long tends to worsen the difficulty. Okay. Do you get sudden and irrepressible urge to pass urine? Yes, I often feel the urge to urinate very urgently and can't hold it. Do you have any pain or discomfort now? Yes, doctor. Can you point to the site of the pain, Mr. Andrew, please? Yeah, it's he, doctor, on my lower belly. When did you notice this pain? It started a couple of months ago with the wee problem at the same time. Okay. Can you describe the, the character of this pain, Mr. Andrew? Is it sharp, burning, or cramming? It's a cramming pain, doctor. Does it move anywhere? No. Anything make this pain worse or better? When my bladder is full, I will be in pain and vice versa. I see. Does the pain come and go or is it constant? It comes and goes, but I've noticed it's getting worse in the evenings. That's helpful information. Is there any specific time during the day that the pain increases or is there anything that's make it stop? The pain usually, as I told you, doctor, increases in the late afternoon and evening. When I wee, it seems to alleviate the pain a bit. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst pain imaginable, how would you rate this pain? I would say it's around 5 or 6 most of the time. That's valuable information. Now let's discuss some possible associating factor that can help us rule out other conditions. For instance, how often do you get up at night to bath urine? I find myself waking up several times during the night to use the bathroom. I see. Do you have difficulty getting the stream started and if they are prolonged tripling at the end? Yes, it takes some effort to get the stream started and I often dribble a bit even after I'm done. Thank you for showing that. Now have you noticed any unintentional weight loss, back pain or problem with erection? Uh, no doctor, I haven't experienced any, any of those symptoms. Alright, that's helpful to know. Have you seen any redness or blood in your urine? No, there's no blood in my urine. I see. Have you experienced any pain when passing urine or any pain in your tummy or back? No, I haven't experienced any pain while urinating or in my tummy or back. Have you been unwell recently or have you experienced any fever or chills? No, I haven't been sick recently or had any fever or chills, doctor. Good to know. Now, have you noticed any numbness or weakness in your legs? No, my legs are fine. Okay, Mr. Andrew, thanks for sharing that. Now let's discuss your medical history and medication use. Sure, I have no major medical condition and I'm not taking any medication, doctor. Do you have any allergies? No, I don't. Have you had any surgery, Mr. Andrew, before? No, doctor.
Now can you tell me about your occupation and if there is anyone at home with you who can provide support? I work as an office manager and my wife is at home with me. Alright, thank you for sharing this information. Do you have any difficulty with the stairs or any other physical activities? No, I, c I can't manage stairs without any difficulty. That's good to know, Mr. Andrew. Now let's talk about your lifestyle habits. Do you smoke? And if so, how many bags per day? Yes, I smoke about half a bag per day. Do you consume alcohol? And if so, how many units per week? Yes, I drink alcohol occasionally, about one to two units per week. Anyone in your family has a similar condition, Mr. Andrew? No one I'm aware of. Do you have any idea what might be the cause of your symptoms? I think it's related to my prostate. I'm not sure. That's helpful. Now, is there any concern you have about your condition? Well, doctor, I'm concerned about managing this condition and finding out what's causing it. I understand your concern. Rest assured, Mr. Andrew, we will conduct tests to determine the underlying cause and discuss appropriate treatment option with you. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate your help and look forward to understanding more about my condition. Don't worry. It's quite obvious I forgot about the systemic review. Not forgot about the systemic review, but I didn't have any time to complete the systemic review. Six minutes already passed. If you found yourself in this position, that your six minute passed and the bell rang and you didn't do the systemic review is KB. It's not that critical. And as you know, you will have three minutes before the discussion. The first question you will have with the consultant is to, uh, is to present your patient. So please practice presenting every single case because presentation is the first impression about your performance for the consultant. Present your patient. I took a clinical history from Mr. Andrew, a 67 year old male. Describes a gradual onset of urination difficulties over the past few months with, aggravi with aggravation when holding urine and elevation upon voiding. He reports experiencing cramping lower abdominal pain, mainly in late afternoon and evening, which he rates around 5 to 10 on a pain scale. He mentioned frequent nocturnal urination and the need for, for Evo to initiate the urinary stream along with post-voiding dribbling. There are no significant wear loss, back pain or erectile issues. No blood in the urine, fever or chills are reported. Mr. Andrew denies numbness or weakness in his legs. Has no significant medical history or medication use and occasionally smokes and drinks. He expresses concern about the condition management and potential causes. Okay, doctor, what are your differentials? My differentials on the top, benign prostatic hyperplasia. Then I need to consider urinary tract infection, prostatic cancer, bladder cancer, neurological disorder, and urethral stricture. How will you investigate your patient? By doing clinical assessment, firstly digital rectal examination to assess prostate size and condition, and then I will perform urine analysis to exclude urinary tract infection and to check for microscopic hematuria. Prostate assessment, I will check prostatic specific antigen BSA blood test to check for prostate health. Urinary flow evaluation, I will do uro uroflometry to measure urine flow rate and volume. Then I can do imaging including ultrasound, transabdominal or transrectal to visualize, to visualize prostate size and structure. Further evaluation if needed, I may need to do cystoscopy to directly inspect prostate and bladder and both void residual measurement to assess urine retention. Okay, how will you treat your patient? I will start with lifestyle modification by encouraging him to avoid alcohol and caffeine especially in the evening. I will limit fluid intake before bedtime 
two or three hours before the bedtime. Time voiding to ensure regular urination. Then I may use medications including alpha blockers which will relax muscles around the prostate and blood and neck. For example, doxazosine, terazosine, and tamsulosine. I may also use 5 alpha reductase inhibitor like finasteride to reduce the size of the prostate gland. Surgical procedures include transurethral resection of the prostate, TURB, removing excess prostate tissue to improve urine flow. Okay, doctor. Which, which blocker has antihypertensive property? Doxazosine and tirazosine. Thank you. Thank you, doctor.